Hey guys, it's Sunday, so that means I get to film a video for you guys today because um, if you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know, I have constant construction right outside my bedroom window. I have to deal with that. I cannot film unless it's a Sunday when they have the day off. So today I'm going to be talking about something that's really important to me, something that I never knew was going to be so important to me. I'm currently pregnant. I'm six months pregnant, 23 weeks to be exact. There are not only products that we use every single day but marketed baby products that are actually harmful it's also funny that it takes a baby <laughs> it takes bringing a baby into the world to realize like okay i might not be making the best decisions i might not be using the cleanest products and if i'm not using the cleanest products then what is my baby going to use so i decided to make the switch to completely natural products i am still a very practical person and on a budget a lot of the time so that can be tough trying to find organic, true organic natural products that are cost efficient and are in your budget and that fit with you as a person and as a mom, as a parent, as a family. I am not a chemist, I'm not a professional, I'm not a doctor. You should always consult with your doctor before anything if you have any questions. Don't take what I say and use it against me because this is just what I have learned. Also, my baby isn't here yet, so I won't be able to actually review them for you guys because I haven't tried them yet. This is just what I have done I'm not a professional, not a doctor, I'm not a chemist. Literally just a mom that was freaked out when I found out about all the dirty, disgusting, toxic, harmful ingredients in baby products. Honestly, I really just want to go over the basics. I'm doing the best that I can. Like I said, I'm a pretty practical person and I'm also trying to be as clean and eco-friendly and organic and natural as possible. So I'm not going to be perfect. I'm going to do my best, but... Um, Having a little baby, I want the best of the best baby products. I had to really dig to find reliable sources and just any information in general on certain products and why certain things are harmful and if a certain product contains this ingredient. Really being aware is key. Always reading the back of a product, always reading the ingredients, the label. I want things to be as natural and organic as possible but also like cruelty free is important to me vegan and vegetarian products are also love that you guys i have found the coolest most helpful app i have ever used in my life this is not sponsored it is called think dirty and it's basically an app where any products you can scan the barcode and it'll tell you all of the ingredients in it and not only will it tell you all the ingredients you can also just type it in to search it. So let me just search Waleda, Waleda. I think it's Waleda. I don't really know. This brand rates a zero on the Think Dirty scale. So basically, it'll rate it how clean to how dirty it is. It also gives you all of the ingredients. So this Waleda Baby Calendula Lotion is rated a zero. We'll do Johnson & Johnson. And if you don't know anything about Johnson & Johnson, you guys please do your research. Okay, Johnson & Johnson baby powder, rated an eight. So it says it's rated an eight because it contains talc and fragrance, and if you don't know what talc is, I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into all this stuff, you guys. I have so many different topics to cover, but I did want to just share that app with you. That has been my holy grail, trying to find um, baby products, especially with my baby registry. I have not known what to put on there and that's really where it all started because I wanted the most natural products on my registry and I didn't even know what to put because things that claim to be organic or things that you've always heard growing up or like you know like the conventional baby products like Johnson and Johnson and um, like Vaseline and Drift and all that kind of stuff like and they actually are so toxic and so harmful so be very careful about conventional brands because they will get you Johnson and Johnson actually most of their products have been recalled because most of them contain formaldehyde, which is sickening. The number one pediatrician recommended laundry detergent, baby laundry detergent. Let me just pull it up. Draft baby baby detergent is rated an eight. An eight out of 10 on the dirty scale, 10 being the dirtiest. It has a fragrance. So fragrance can potentially be harmful. It's not necessarily always harmful. Again, this is just from the research that I've done so far. The key with fragrance is to know that companies are not 
Again, companies are not obligated to reveal what's within the fragrance category. You don't really know what they're using. Fragrances are on our skin. When we use something that has a really potent fragrance, it's on our skin for hours, maybe even until the next time that we shower. And it can be a possible carcinogen, it can be an allergen, it can cause irritation. It's just not something that you want, especially on your baby's skin. There's also evidence that fragrance can cause asthma in babies. It's just, you just need to use it with caution. I don't personally like to use anything with fragrance in it just because I don't think that it's worth the risk. I would say just stay away from anything fragrant that is like baby wipes, diapers, shampoos and conditioners, all that stuff. It's artificial and it's, it's just not natural. Also, fragrances are usually used in products to basically mask any of the unnatural odors like for instance in Johnson & Johnson they use that very strong baby scent if you will to cover up the formaldehyde which is so sick it's so sick I love that like fresh baby smell so much but I swear I, I know it's tempting but just don't do it do not be fooled I'm highly advising against fragranced products is that how you say it? I do have two separate lists, one for clean baby products and one for dirty baby products, and I will go over that. But first, I really just wanna talk about the things that you should look out for when you're reading the ingredients labels. Fragrance, like I said, definitely would stay away from that. Talc um, is very commonly found in baby powders. It is a lung irritant, and it is a possible carcinogen as well. So I know there's been a lot of different things that are recalled because of that, but there are still products. It's there, you guys. You just have to check. Just be safe. I, I'm telling you, like, please just read the ingredients. Whatever you use, just read the ingredients. And just know that if it says fragrance, there are more things underneath that category. And you don't really know what's in there because the companies are not obligated to tell you what it is. Okay, propylene glycol. So <laughs> this is basically a chemical that is made to open up your pores to let other chemicals in. It's a thing. It's essentially a penetration enhancer. And that's terrifying. It's used in wiper fluid to literally de-ice airplanes. And it's also found in a lot of baby wipes. And then also look out for PEG, which is polyethylene glycol, and then PPG, which is polypropylene glycol. So anything that says PEG, PPG, or, I'm sorry, I get all these so mixed up, or propylene glycol. Yeah, anything that has those in the label, stay away from it, throw it away, you don't wanna use it. Oh, this is a big one. One for dioxane. This is found in so many products, not only baby products, it is found in the majority of shampoos and conditioners, body washes, laundry detergents, dish soap, multi-purpose cleaners, like so many different things. I'm gonna look it up real quick to give you I don't have the definition of this one written down for some reason. Okay, so it says it's a compound classified as an ether. So the Environmental Protection Agency identifies this most serious hazardous waste. Eye and nose irritation was reported by people exposed to low levels. Um, exposure to very high levels may cause severe kidney and liver effects and possibly death. So basically it says, oh, that's great. It says it will cause cancer. <laughs> the fact that that is in our food, our baby products, our regular products, our beauty products, our household products. It says 1,4-dioxane has been detected in some drinking water supplies. Many products on the market today, foods, pharmaceuticals, cosmetic products, detergents, etc., contain 1,4-dioxane in very small amounts. However, some detergents and cosmetics and shampoos may contain 1,4-dioxane at levels higher than recommended by the FDA for other products. Which is insane to me that the FDA even allows like a little bit, like there's even an amount that is allowed. Also, I found this. It's never listed as an ingredient. It's in a lot of beauty products because it's a byproduct of other chemicals that are in that product. So it doesn't come out on the label and say, yes, it has 1,4-dioxane in it, dioxane. <laughs> But if there are two products in a label, it'll create that product, that chemical. And that's what you will get. It's scary, you guys, it's scary. It's scary to know that like I've been living my whole 21 years so far not even paying attention to this kind of stuff. Like why did nobody teach me this? I just don't know. Okay, so 
those are things to be aware of and to stay away from. There are many other things too that you'd be so surprised at how, how potentially dangerous it could be. And what really gets me is that a lot of marketed baby products contain all these ingredients that I've been telling you about. So now I'm going to tell you guys the products that I have found that you absolutely should not use. Make sure that you stay away from them. Don't gift them for anybody. Don't register for them on your registry. Number one is Johnson & Johnson because that contains uh, one four dioxane in, dioxane in every single product. I'm just gonna pull it up on the Think Dirty app. I'll just type in Johnson & Johnson. I won't even type in a specific product. The baby powder is an eight. Body lotion is a five. The the Tangles spray is a five. So my philosophy on the Think Dirty app, if it's not over a three, depending on the ingredients, then to me it's considered pretty safe. Because there are some products that no matter what brand I typed in, nothing rates lower or scores lower than a three. So it's kind of just like you have to deal with it. If it's over a three, I'm like, no way, I'll use coconut oil. <laughs> you can use coconut oil for literally everything. Yeah, like the Johnson & Johnson Natural Baby Lotion is an eight. The oil is an eight. The bedtime bath is an eight. Also like the knockoff brand of this, which I think is like Baby's Baby Magic. That's what it is. Those are all rated like anywhere from seven to 10. Uh, like the Dreft I said, that is a definite no. Let's just look up and see what's in Dreft. Yeah, diethylene glycol. That's the number one ingredient on there. And then fragrance. The fact that it is the number one rated pediatrician, like recommended baby targeted laundry detergent is so, so bizarre. Oh, another one, Desitin. Desitin is rated an eight on the list for um, fragrance and talc and many other things. Methylparaben, um, BHA, petrolatum, methylparaben. That just sounds scary. Anything with parabens you don't want to use, anything with sulfates you don't want to use, anything with mineral oil, petroleum jelly, please, please stay away from Vaseline. Vaseline has petroleum jelly, mineral oil. To get mineral oil, you have to go through the oil refining process and it's basically just like the leftover shit in the bottom of the barrel and it's like scraped and that's what you get. It could be contaminated, it clogs your pores and it has no, it has no benefit on your skin. It really doesn't. What I would use instead of Vaseline, I have found that the Burt's Bees, sorry, the lighting was crazy. But what I have found to use instead of Vaseline is the Burt's Bees multi-purpose ointment. That is rated a zero. Also the Dove Baby Soap. I found to be very harmful. This is what it has in there. The Dove Baby Body Wash, um, the Tip to Toe, and I think just any of the Dove Baby products, they're all rated an eight, so I would stay away from that. Um, baby Ganex is kind of iffy for me because they have some products that are rated zero to three, but they also have some products that are rated three to five, even six or seven or eight. It's Baby Ganex and I just, I just don't trust that. Like I think that they're trying too hard to market the fact that it is an organic brand. It's sketchy. Okay, so there are a lot of other dirty brands. Just do your research. After editing this and doing a little bit more research, I found out that Aveeno is actually owned by Johnson & Johnson, which is a big no, <laughs> definite no. And a lot of their ingredients have PPGs and PEGs, those two chemicals that I was talking about. So stay away from Aveeno as well. If you research and you dig further enough, you will find there are moms out there that do nothing but this kind of stuff. And thank God for them because I would not know anything without them. Also, I didn't put this, I didn't say this yet, but um, the majority of baby wipes and the majority of baby diapers. So I have decided to do cloth diapers. I registered for the water wipes because they are 99.9% .9 water with 0.1% grapefruit seed extract, which is kind of controversial. People don't know if it has benefits, but I've heard really good things about that. And it's uh, like really, really highly rated and recommended from a lot of like the organic moms that I've been following. So I'm kind of just gonna take their word for it. I did register for the water wipes, but I do plan on doing cloth wipes as well. Not only are the cloth diapers and cloth wipes good for baby, but it's also good for the environment and your freaking wallet, you guys. From the time a baby is born 
to about two or three years old. They go through, I think like 7,000 diapers or something like that. If you price them at like 30 cents per diaper, that puts you at, I wrote it down. I did all the calculations. That seriously puts you at a total of anywhere from $1,700 to $2,600, depending on the type of disposable wipes. Sorry, this does not include wipes. This is only for diapers. Depending on the type of diapers that you use, that's how much you'll be spending. The cloth diapers are expensive. The upfront cost is somewhat expensive, but you never have to buy another diaper. So once you're set, they say you should have anywhere from like 32 to 36 cloth diapers, which I'm gonna do a whole other separate video once she gets here. Honestly, I just put all the ones that I have found to be like the number one recommended on my registry and I'm just hoping that I get all of them on my registry so that I don't have to personally purchase any of them. But you never have to purchase a diaper ever again because most cloth diapers that you purchase fit the baby from birth to potty training because they're adjustable. They have like all these little snaps on them. So not only the cost efficient aspect of cloth diapering, there's also the fact that it is so much safer for your baby to be using cloth diapers because disposable diaper companies are not required to list any ingredients. The outer lining is frequently made from polyethylene film, which is derived from petroleum, again, or natural gas. Scary. The inner lining is mostly composed of polypropylene, which is also from propylene gas also scary. So the absorbent center is most of the time bleached fibers compounded into one little pad that's going to go on your baby's bottom, which is so scary. Bleached whatever it is on your baby's bum. Like what? There's also a lot of chlorine and synthetic dyes in disposable diapers, which is known to cause diaper rashes. Just knowing how much safer it is for a baby and the environment, you guys, how disgusting it is how many diapers the world goes through and it takes 250 to 300 years to completely decompose it's just crazy there's so many different things that are just not safe not safe for you not good for your wallet not good for your environment and companies are seriously marketing this stuff to be like the best of the best baby product but in reality it can cause cancer i am sorry my camera just ran out of storage would it be a michaela video without that happening? Probably not. Now I'm gonna share with you the cleanest products I have found so far. First I'll go through the brands. Dr. Bronner's I have found to be most completely safe, natural, organic products. They're also cruelty free. Literally every single one of their products is pretty much a zero on the Think Dirty app. We also recently switched to using that as our baby, or as our um, body soap as well because all the body soaps that we had in our shower were rated either an eight to a 10 on the Think Dirty scale, so I threw all that shit away. California Baby, I have found, is another really good and clean brand. A lot of their products um, are rated a zero to three as well. Honest Company, I would say the majority of their products are pretty safe, but I think that they have products that you could find in another brand that are a little bit cleaner. So my favorite so far is the Waleda brand. Literally all of their products are listed as zero, like I swear, almost every single one. They have so many different products within their brand and they're all rated as zero. So I really liked that. They also have really good reviews. I've seen a lot of people recommend those products. Burt's Bees is also kind of iffy because they have some products that are like kind of higher up on the scale, but they also have products that are completely zeros or zero to three. Like I said, the Burt's Bees multi-purpose ointment, that is rated a zero, and that is what I have completely switched to using instead of Vaseline. Coconut oil, just make sure that you're getting a completely organic brand. Sometimes there's additives that you just obviously don't want, so that can be used for literally everything. And the water wipes are pretty much completely natural. They're basically just water, which I don't see why I wouldn't just use cloth wipes. But I'm just gonna, I just registered for a pack of those just to kind of see if I like them, if I would rather do disposable versus cloth wipes. So we'll see how everything goes with that. But there are a lot of different things too that you can do to be more eco-friendly. If you're trying to go a little bit more green, which I am, I'm trying my best because I want to raise my baby that way. I want my baby to know how important it is to take care of our environment as much as we can. So I went through my baby registry and I kind of just got rid of 
things that I felt were like, I don't know, like I really do want to stick to glass baby bottles because plastic bottles, the BPA, the plastic, it just kind of freaks me out. I know that I personally really only want to use the glass bottles, but they are a little bit more expensive. So I did put a set of the plastic bottles on my registry, but I also put sets of the glass bottles. When she gets here, I'm gonna see which one I like better and then make a purchase based on that. But other things too, so like cloth diapering, obviously, um, cloth wiping, reusable nursing pads, glass bottles, also mason jars for milk storage instead of using like the like um, plastic bags. I just think like wood teethers are good and like wooden toys. I don't know, like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm probably going to be using a lot of things that I could be using better products for, but I'm a young mom and I just feel like this is the most practical I can get so far. This is also my first baby. I don't know how it's gonna go. This is this is my first little trial and error process. But that is basically all. If you guys have any questions, please give me recommendations in the comments. I am so open to new products. I'm seriously researching every day. I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I'll find a product and then I'll type it in on the Think Dirty app and I'm like, oh, it's rated right a five, not putting this on my list. You know what I mean? So I'm constantly, constantly researching new products, new brands. Um, I know there are so many other good organic brands like the Earth Mama brand. I, I have um, their nipple cream. Mommy's Bliss I know is like the safest gripe water. I can't wait until she gets here so I can actually try them out and see how I like them. Also, I don't know what her hair texture is gonna be like. She's gonna be a little mixed baby, so I don't I don't know. I don't know what her hair is gonna be like. Gerald had a really curly hair when he was a baby. I had a dream the other night that her hair was like extremely curly, which I'm hoping that she does have really curly hair. But like I'm not gonna be able to just use regular shampoo and I'm gonna have to find a conditioner for her hair that's organic and safe and natural. So I just can't wait for her to get here so that I can get everything figured out and make another updated video for you guys. And I know that I seriously struggled trying to find natural products that were safe and also people that were talking about them. I could not find for the life of me a video just specifically talking about toxic baby products. So. I just wanted to share all this with you guys, all the research that I've done. Remind you, I am not a chemist, I am not a professional, not a doctor, not a scientist. This is just what I have found. I'm a new mom, trying to figure it out. Okay, I'm just repeating myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop anything in the comments. Let's talk, let's start a conversation. I wanna know, I seriously am so obsessed with organic products right now. Everything will be linked in the description if you want to check out any of the products that I mentioned. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you wanna see more and I'll talk to you guys soon.